If, if, I, if, V, the emperor, or four. The Ivy, emperor. the emperor. I love Ivy, the emperor. I do love Ivy, the emperor. I, as well, well. I'm, I'm Lies. And I am Scandal. And I'm... welcome back to Ivy, the emperor. I mean, yeah. the Arcana. I mean, the Arcana. The Arcana. The Arcana. The Arcana. The Arcana. Arcana. The Arcana. Arcana. Arcane. All right, let's the do Arcane. Our... The Arcane. The Arcane. Ah. All right. So if you haven't this seen the first episode three four. episodes, we would we would love to suggest that you go and see them because it's been a riot to do them and we are ridiculous. Um, but please join us. And I'm back on the black stone path, whipped by wind and rust colored sand. Oh no, I get to do my semi French accent that I keep fucking up on. It's for okay. Astra. It is a dream, and yes. Astra will. Be, I'm gonna guess Astra's gonna be here. I was The so thick too. dark clouds hanging overhead are heavier than before, because I can feel them. I waited them. They're heavy. But if I'm dreaming again, where is Astra? We did look for him. Mm -hmm. The unforgiving wind burns my eyes as I search the desolate landscape. Am I writing anything, though? Up ahead, too far to reach. Astra's still with the lumbering beast. Because I can't give it a name. still? It belongs to him? Astra is still. Okay. That's what that means. Astra is still with the lumbering is beast. Is that how you apostrophize that? Yeah. I didn't. So the thing is, so I think technically in grammar it's not actually a thing, but it's socially a thing. Okay. With the lumbering beast. Get it. I hadn't seen that before that I remember. Mm, you're fine. They've stopped at a fork in the road. One way goes east, the other west. That's a strong fork. Asra dismounts the creature, placing a hand on its hide. It turns down the path to the east. Asra walks west, and I know at once he is going the wrong way. Not that way! Not again! His head turns. Even from the uncrossable distance, I feel our eyes meet. Hello? His voice is just a longing whisper on the wind. I reach Holy out to him. Holy crap! Wow. So if we want this dream cycle, we have got to pay for it. Again, call me game, <clears throat> because I don't know where all of this is going and what it looks like after we get through the prologue. I am curious. All right. All right. Are you, do you want to reach out to him? It's a dream. I want to interact with my dream. All right. It's very costly. Oh, no. Is this his romanceable arc through dreams? Oh, no. Oh, no. I just wanted to see what happens in the dreams. Dang. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. We started a romanceable arc because in a dream and not in real life. I am a, ch I am, I am a sucker. All right, fine. <sighs> fine. Yeah. We don't have to. We can we walk away from it. We can. We can walk away from it. Next time At we have to pay to see so. Asra, we won't pay. Yeah, pretty much. We can see him for free. We work with him, don't we? I know, right? I, you spilled the bat milk. Dang it, that stuff is so hard to collect. Do you know hey, how nerd. tiny, how tiny those things are when you get <laughs> them? Hey, nerd. Oh, I love it. More bat milk, I say hopefully. <laughs> see, when she does it, it's all serious and intimate. And when he does it, it's charming and cute. Uh -huh, I please. love it. Because we're never going to use it up and need more. Oh, uh, sorry. Not. I, yes, he looks concerned. You think it's too much? I'm very concerned of your judgments of me. I... It's true, you know <laughs> that the baker likes me! Ha -ha! And then stayed to have the cards read, and then ran away out the back door. That's ridiculous. Huh. Ah. I've always wanted to come with you, but I always made it a question, and so you wouldn't answer, and now I'm just gonna make it a statement. Okay, did this not happen if we didn't buy the premium choice? Yes. Or did it still happen, but we don't remember it? Oh, that's a good question. Do we lose our memory, or do we not care about the memory, and it's not important? And basically, we had a different emotional <sighs> experience when it happened. I'm curious. Does it actually change the story if you choose that choice? Or does it give you, or well, does mean, it, do you just not care about the memory You apparently much? need to be able to go back and go romance with the characters, so you... I, I have no... I am confusion. Welcome am. to confusion. I confuse. Which I don't know why, but that's okay. Then don't go! So. I... I, it seems like it seems like he's if this is his whole life, he would need to go. So right. I would tend to say, I'll risk it. Because if it's then, don't go, what is he What is he doing out there? That's no, fine. Then you say, I'll risk it. It's I fine. would risk it. i risk it. Whoa. Well, hang on. That's different. That is not what I tried to do. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me? Ah! <clears throat> you I say into his hand. I'll risk it. I'll risk it. I mean...
Hi, Pam and Jerry's house. Hug. I don't. He's on I, cube. <laughs> Why? Ew, the head is so gross. They get the slobbery all over it. Either that or that tickles hey, blah, blah. so bad. I just ah! Astro has tickly palms. All right, head cannon. Astro has tickly palms. It's fine. Actually, I just want to see what you do out in the world because I feel like once I get out there, I'll know nothing because I currently know nothing. Not in that style, you won't. If I dress better than you, I might worry about my clothes. But clearly, you she come looks... back clean, so it's okay. It's great. I love your asymmetrical shirt thing. It's great. It's a little wild. It's fun. I feel like I can't understand you, character. Are we literally just hitting on him out of the blue, saying we want to go with him to hang out with him while he's doing these deadly things? I wanted to go on the adventure. I know! I wanted to learn how to do and survive what he's doing, not just go, But master, you're hot. Pretty much. It's actually really annoying. We are, we are that really... shallow. We are so sheltered. We don't care about adventure or doing what you do or supporting you in what you do. We don't know who Astra is. Let's be honest. We don't know any bullcrap about Astra. We don't know anything about anybody, really, except a few maybe minor tiny details. Yep. That he leaves That's and it. doesn't answer questions. He's blushing. I... No, what I want to do is go with you on an adventure Incredible. so I can learn more things, but apparently all I have is boners. Yeah, pretty much. Why? I and then after this happened, that's when he's like, read my fortune and I run out the back door? That feels a little weird. Uh, that's a strong transition from one to the other. Right? I've said it every time I want to go with you, but apparently if I push sex on you, then then maybe I get to go? Or push is this romantic a point? attraction. This yeah, is, push this romance. Is, push yeah. romance. Because we I, don't know if there's sex. We don't at all. know if it's sex at all. We have no idea what anyone's sexuality is, or that this game even goes that direction. Everyone could be ace and strong romantic. We don't know. Yep, pretty much. You also want me to have adventure and learn things outside of this building? <gasps> I... is, is you sure? Is not exactly sure, yes? Is no? not sure. Mm. But you see, I also don't want you to die, and you're extremely naive. Because what I is... don't want you! I don't know! I'm sorry, I'm having a problem <clears throat> with this series going. Why are you playing an Atomic game? Because I actually like relationships. Uh, yes. And what we're talking about in terms of relationship is actually <laughs> building a relationship. This doesn't feel like a relationship, this feels like a forced encounter. This feels like a, I already had the relationship off screen before you, and what you're going to do is discover it. It was all in a dream! Which is different <laughs> than I will build it myself. Again, the art's still very pretty. So anyway, at this point, now I'm going to spoil it and go, so I played a little bit of this, actually, ages ago. Ages. Ages ago. But I, I knew nothing about that. You didn't know, actually. And I actually, though, complained at Lies. Um, so we're going to have a little break here just for two seconds because I'm really like... So I was frustrated because I really did, like, for me... So the Arcana is pretty. I like a lot of things about it, but it does really frustrate me as a player of going, this doesn't feel like options. This feels basically like there's a lot of assumptions and there's a lot of background information, there's a lot of details that I don't have. And I don't like that if I'm going to roleplay or you're going to insist that I get invested or care about these characters. I have no reason to really care. Well, it's your master. You always care about your master. No, Do I don't. You? Why would you? What's I've had the... a lot of bosses that I didn't care uh, deeply about. Oh, God. I've had so many. This feels... And teachers. Right? So this may, might not be, like, I don't like this kind of romance specifically for the fact that it feels very forced. So what's bothering me without any of that experience is simply going, when I make a I choice... Because I tried running around everywhere like, and avoiding everyone. Right? <laughs> if I'm making a choice to interact with someone, what I want to do is get to know them, not realize that my character has already known them and already has interest, and now we're just pursuing it. Uh -huh. For me, I'm like, oh, let's get to know this person, and the answer isn't get to know them. The answer is, you already know them, and now you are involved. Yeah, pretty much. You made a choice to get involved. Since when did that happen? You skipped like six steps. Yeah, no kidding. So it maybe moves too fast for me. Maybe the reason I take 15 years for someone to be able to date me in real life is because I like to really dig in and get to know them first. It's true. What about a rose? What, what about, about a rose? A white rose. From the beast's castle. And then you'll have to trade me to the beast to protect your own life because you have to so run So basically yourself. we're going to end up then banging Lucio. Dang it! I didn't want to do that either. Okay, Lucio. I'm stuck. So I want him to come back safe. He, he just, just said, said he did! The same. Oh my god, are we an idiot? I, uh, we are. Oh my god, have we just been forced into we something? We are a doormat. I, those are the only questions? Oh, I don't want to choose either of those. I don't like this. Can we go back? Can we not? Is that I don't option? want. Can we go back and do something else? I no. I don't want. Uh, it reset it. I. I don't want this. I didn't choose him. You didn't tell me what I was choosing. 
You just, I just thought I was having a dream. I, well, this is it. Fine. As your apprentice. I mean, if this is a true, like, master-apprentice relationship, you're probably, like, 25 years older than me. Yeah, no kidding. Except for the fact that Depending on how people work. Maybe 20 years. If my other head canon applies and he's really basically just masking our value and sort of using us in a self-serving way, then maybe he's this is again where I'm going, I it. don't know anything about this. This makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay, knows. yes, thank you. It is only a dream. Thank God. Dear God, I was so uncomfortable. All right, so this isn't actually the full memory. I hope not. That's what it sounds like. So, is this a repeat of the memory with him actually consciously in the dream as well, and we rehad the conversation? Yeah, pretty and much. And he was more honest? Okay, that's weird. That is strange. Sunlight tickles my face. I open my eyes with a groan. Ah, life is complicated. I feel like I'm 15 again. Uh, Am I 15? Morning, I nerd. Thank God. Borgia sets out a tray of breakfast pastries while I slowly sit up. Ah, uh, what a lovely sunrise. Did you sleep well? The Countess wants you to meet her in the library after you've eaten and dressed. I promise there's not a body there. It's all right. There's no body in the library, but you did there's sleep naked. There's a body upstairs. Naked. I'm now charmed that you did sleep naked. Go out and get dressed. Are you just going to eat with blankets on? Really? That's so quaint. That's adorable. You're so cute. Borsha sets a neat pile of elegant clothing on the bed beside me. And I realize that my own clothes don't matter anymore, and I shouldn't have packed them and carried them and struggled for so long with them for the city. I unfold the top piece, marvelling at the way the fabric moves. I really do need a bath. We took your old clothes to be laundered. My lady asked me to provide these for you. Oh, that's good. I did. Head cannon approved. I slept naked. You took oh, my good clothes. Job. Yes. I'll be waiting in the hall, whenever you're ready. Because I don't need to see your naked foot again, dear. Hello, darling. Borsha ducks out the door. I move the silky garments across and toss aside, aside <laughs> and toss back my bed covers. Fling! <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't naked in front of her. Ha <laughs> ha! I eat quickly, not wanting to keep the Countess waiting. I eat naked. The oh, pastries well, well. are still warm and flaky, each more delicate and whimsical than the last. That sounds like building up incredibly till I can't eat the last one, till essentially it's bending reality to eat the last pastry. It's right. so delicate and flaky and whimsical. Then I disrobe and, and then pull out my new outfit. into a series of harmonicas and piccolos. And then I ask you for help. And, and then I ask you for help. <laughs> but I disrobe. Then I disrobe. What was I wearing? And pull on my new outfit. What were you wearing? Fumbling with its clasps and buttons. Also, do we bathe? Can do we, we bathe? bathe? Can, Can we, we bathe? bathe? I have a high standard of hygiene. Ooh, don't you look nice? I hope so. Hey, I Ned, kind of you look nice. The Countess is a real life of fashion. She'll definitely be pleased. She totally has been absolutely eyeing the heck out of your build, and she was so happy to Whatever dress you up. Whatever you look like, it doesn't matter. She knew how to put clothes on you. Hope you don't have any preferences. Borsha stops before a panel in the wall. Three times my height. All right, so the picture's twice my height. This panel's three times my height. I am short. No kidding. Or the castle's very, very, <clears throat> very tall. tall. It is crafted of smooth wood in all the colors of rippling honey. So a lot of golden brown. So a lot of food. I, <laughs> what I'm hearing is food. So a lot of, I'm still hungry. La, 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 the last whimsical pastry just set me over the edge. The world is now food. Huh? The world is I food. I haven't eaten in like 20 hours. Ah. Ah. All right. Carved with dizzying intricacy, it is a great, great tree. tree in the height of maturity. maturity. Ooh. Do I even know as a person what a tree that is in the height of its maturity looks like? I know, because you, know, you never leave an astro apparently does it all. But, but, but no, I mean, even me, just outside of the game, what does a tree look like in the height of its maturity before it goes into its twilight years? Well, and that's the big question. So most people don't realize, but trees don't live forever. I hate that, that, that realization of that thing of going, trees don't live forever. And... Wow, its leaves they... and fruit are inlaid with jewels, precious stones, and mother pearl. Oh, the height of maturity, like the fruit is mature. I... That could be that could be like a colloquialism, actually. So we're not talking about the age of the tree. We're talking about it being ready for picking. It's ripe. It's my lady's own work. Beautiful, isn't it? She She's carves wood and does jewel and le inlay and gold leaf? Wow. Heck yeah. And painting and staining? Aye. Wow. Holy cow. Good job, her. I still like your freckles. Oh, they're very cute. Portia retrieves a ring of keys from her pocket and unlocks a panel? Like your wall panels? Lock? Not even a door? Aye, all right. There are about a dozen, each carved of the same wood as the panel and each bearing a distinct jewel. 
One by one, she finds their locks in the panel. Oh, holy cow, we are going somewhere super secret. Apparently. You have an entire key ring just for this wall panel. Whoa. With each key, the roots of the tree start to unwind from each other. Hang on, if they're on a key ring, are you having to pull them off every time? How, what does this key basically ring look like? Is it like an, a thing that bends? Are you sorting through like... them and just holding one up and the others crack against crack the door it, as you and turn then, it? And then, like, or do you have to leave them in? Pulling free from the floor. So the roots were down into the floor and they're lifting up. It's a little like the Harry Potter snake door. Yeah, kind of. Okay, okay. When all the locks have been turned, the panel folds upon itself on either side like a paper So she's fan. a carpenter? Wait a minute, Holy. she said this is her Malay's yeah. work, so it's like she's, she's, a, also, she's an architect, she's a designer. She's an architect, and a carpenter, and a wood carver, and, an and she does designer. inlay, and interior decoration, and magic, because she, she, did, she did the moving of everything as well. And she does locks, she's a locksmith as well. Crap, this lady is amazing! This lady Kick is ass! ass. <laughs> there are books everywhere, books winding at the walls, reaching for the ceiling. I bet only a few people have key rings like that, because honestly, wow, that's hard to get in out of that library. No kidding. But like, nope, everyone, every servant has one of these, and we lock it every time we leave the room. That's my favorite. It is a ritual. Everything is a ritual. That's a ritual. It's the ritual of way too many goddamn keys. It's the ritual of a lot of keys, and really, really just appreciating my artwork. I am Lord of the Keys. I built this door from scratch, and I did every possible discipline to do it, and you know what? You'll appreciate it by using it every time. Every day. Every Time! They're like, wow, rich people, am I right? Yeah, I mean, it's part of the job, so it's okay. Uh, the Countess she... is waiting for us. I guess she pays me. Seated in of. a reclining chair. We don't have any reclining chairs here, but I'm glad you have one. That's all right. I'm so proud of you. The plants are very pretty. Her eyes glitter with approval when she sees me. She doesn't know the inappropriate dreams la, la, I've been la, having. La, 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 Sorry, I'm like glitter. La, 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 la. Her eyes have glitter. They look like they've been bedazzled. Somebody went at them with glitter glue. I don't know. Oh. Hey, nerd. You look positively <laughs> radiant. She suddenly has cleavage. Hey, the cleavage nerd. has come out. The cleavage, it is strong. <laughs> that so actually happy. looks like a bodice experience. It of kind like of cinching in and pushing up and then soft, you know, stuff over it. Uh huh. Hey, nerd. You look positively radiant. Well, you dressed me. I would hope so. I had no kidding. I would hope that I would meet your tastes with, since you put me in these clothes. No kidding. I didn't really have any say in the matter, other than please don't piss me off. All other right. than oh. I, I decided to wear them because all my other clothes were gone and I didn't want to come wrapped in a bed sheet. Hello! Yeah. Here I am, a bed sheet! Good to see you! I love you! <laughs> la, la, la. I'm here! Point. Oh, we got Portia going, why are you wearing a bed sheet? Oh no, it's, this, it's just, I didn't have any clothes anymore. They were on the bed! Oh, those aren't mine. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't comfortable in that fashion, but look, I made a beautiful toga! <laughs> Maybe a stares at you wide-eyed. A sheep toga, is it? Is that part of your craft as a seer uh, of the future? Did you not get the clothes I sent for you? Glares at Portia! Portia, Portia you Portia. didn't bring them clothes! Portia! They so, wouldn't take them! They wouldn't wear them! You weren't convinced yet. You delivered them wrong. Clearly they would have worn them if you'd have delivered them correctly. Out of my sight! Go lock all of the locks! <laughs> and then lock them bit by bit meticulously! <laughs> and then watch me the whole time as I glare at you! And she, be shamed! She gestures to the towering shelves all around us. Do you read? Not everybody in this land does! I nod. The Countess tempers her surprise. You learned to read? I only do every craft there is to do with architecture and wood and locksmithing. How do you know how to read? My god, I'm like 395 men. How old are you? Ah, somehow I suspected that you might. I, surprise is not... It Hang is on. a great Hang gift on. to read. Surpri you are surprised? Your eyes widen in surprise that you do know how to read? Or is it supposed to be in pleasure? Like, I, I, I take... I take issue with that descriptor because eyes widen with surprise to me goes, I wasn't expecting that. And she did say that. She's like, I should have suspected that. But somehow No, she, she said, didn't. I did suspect that. Ah, I suspected that. Yeah. But I also was hoping it wasn't true somehow, it seems. I know, so, so you know, you could also be my doormat. It's a great gift to read. Where I come from, it is shared amongst all citizens. But not here. I'm a foreigner here that nonetheless holds my title and rank. I guess? And it's a secret that my husband was immolated, and we must solve the mystery, but don't really solve it, we just want to hang a man. But not want to hang him, it just has to be done, for justice. But I don't actually rule over anything, because I'm out here, secreted away, far from everything. It's fine. But woefully uncommon, here. I mean, I, you could change I'm that not fixing a little it, bit, but, but okay. I'm sad about it. Oh, sadness. Do you promote literacy and numeracy? This way. Do you have free libraries? Please. I mean, you've got 12 locks on your damn library. Maybe that's part of the reason why your literacy level is so low. Yeah. She leads me deeper into the shelves, 
Porsche follows with a jingling ring of keys. They're wooden and with metal inlays. Do they really jingle that much? Are they more clack? I was a bit more clacky. It feels like it would be a nice clacking and maybe some tinkling if the gemstones hit each other. I don't Pink. know. Pink. But also, why didn't she put them back in her pocket? Why is she just is she just swinging them on her finger? La 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 la. la. What? I just <laughs> swing them around a circle. These beautiful arts and keys. Hello, let me jingle them behind you. It's fine. Uh huh. We didn't jingle down the door. She should just. She's very playful if she didn't put them back in her pocket. No kidding. Oh, she knows we're only going to be here for a moment and doesn't want to. But also that seems very informal. Even if you're only going to be there for a moment, there's the remove your gloves, shake the hands, then put your gloves back on. Like the whole formal ceremony is often there. Not quite. I can't stop staring at all the books. My fingers itch to run along their spines, but I resist. I look at the lighting in the room, though, and realize it'd be rather dim, except for in the one place with the chairs. No okay, then we all die and fall over things. Hey, nerd. You are my guest. Are you sure? If you should like to return here, you need only ask. But for the moment... I love but. So that basically completely invalidates what you just said, so I'm correct. But actually does mean none of the things beforehand. It would be this, but. Yeah. The counter stops before an alcove nestled between the shelves. I would have your undivided attention here. So know that you can return at any time, but don't think about that right now, because I need your undivided attention right now. Okay. Okay, that's one thing. A desk stands in a slim ray of daylight. Cast from a tiny window. Okay. Not from the window we can see. Are we that going to do more tarot cards window. for you, my dear? We might. Books, journals, papers, and scrolls cover every inch of the desk. Despite the clutter, everything is carefully organized. Someone's place of study, preserved in time. I bet it's her husband's! No! Oh, oh. it's Dvorak! This was Dr. Dvorak's desk. He worked for you guys. Oh! He was employed at the palace, as was your master, Asra. And that's why he wants to see Asra. Julian. Julian. Julian and Asra. Julian and Asra. So they clearly got to know each other. They did get to know each other. They and were he's very still like, intimate. I still have a thing for him, and it's unrequited. And I feel like he leaves all the damn time, so if I could just leave with him, it'd be okay. Yeah, pretty much. What if we could just ship all the other characters together and learn the story? Could I just read the whole story and everyone else can get together and I can just be there having an adventure? Right. That might be cool. Not that I won't like anyone, I just don't know anyone yet. No kidding. Part of the... Like, part of the lush, elaborate, beautiful illustration of this game and the, the complexity and distinctiveness of the characters makes me feel like you're supposed to like them for their looks, which bothers me because I want to like people for who they are. And, and I'm looks, not saying that your clothes can't be a wrong. part of you, but the thing is, is it's a part, not the entirety, in my opinion, of what these people are. People, like I said, I was, or I was about to say, is basically that you can dress yourself and your style is part of who you are and that's awesome. And it can indicate things about you. That she clearly spends time on herself, that she clearly has opinions about fabric and about jewelry, etc. As well as she likes a unified color aesthetic, which tells things about who she is. However, I feel like the artists are making these choices to make the characters visually interesting to you because they don't feel like they'll be interesting as much in other ways. No kidding. And that doesn't mean that's true, but that's what I feel like. And it kind of, like, well, sometime I want a dating game, maybe with the more ordinary looking characters. The visuals basically are a substitute for writing. Or basically a substitute for personality. For, for, for fleshing out the character. Or for, for words or conversation. We called upon them to contact, concoct. concoct a cure for the plague. My blood runs cold. We had a plague? And I didn't even know about it! I and didn't know the Duke died or that we had a plague! Or where else we No, goes. we do know about it. Like, the you really Red don't plague, remember this? The Red Plague, as it was called, swept through the city like wildfire. It claimed young and old, frail and strong. There was no way to tell who would succumb. Also, Julian's a freaking edgelord if it's the Red Plague and he has red lenses on his plague mask. You jerk. He sounds like an edgelord. Like I said, David Bowie. Ah. <laughs> Cases meets, meets a Scottish bird. are rare now. I can't remember the last time I saw the telltale red and white of someone's eyes. Red in the whites of someone's eyes. Physicians, scientists, alchemists, fortune tellers, magicians. All were invited in hopes that our resources may aid in their research. Perhaps he was plotting even then, but the doctor accepted our invitation. So you did, you wanted to save everyone. So do you actually rule over this land? Is Duchess the high rank and there is no king or other royalty? All right, that's fine. That's that can be the world, but I'm I don't know that, and I feel like I should know that about my own world. You know, just a bit. As did your master, Astra. Her gaze shifts to the window. It overlooks a large willow tree which hangs over the fountain in the garden below. So small window overlooking a large willow tree. Okay, I kind of wish we could see this desk. It would help me a little bit. Yeah, right. I have had the desk and its contents examined laboriously. Nothing of consequence has been found. Perhaps you will make better use of it. It is the best lead I can offer. Well, you know, he was in my house like a day ago. So is that a good lead? He also hey. plans to come back there when Astra comes back. And I'm supposed to contact him somehow, but I don't know what that is. No kidding. 
she draws away. Maybe I'll just go around to all the wanted posters and just put our little owl sim our little snake symbol on there so he'll know to come back. <sighs> That'd be great. <sighs> I'll just draw the go back to this place. Astra's here. She draws away, passing me and perfuming the air with jasmine. <laughs> she goes by. I spray the perfume. Oh, you stay. Just smell like ash. <laughs> ah, my eyes! <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, she probably smells like jasmine. She probably does. But still, the idea of perfuming it as she's walking, just uh -huh. you know, holding a censer or spraying a bottle. The search for Doctor Dvorak is now in your hands. You may proceed as you see fit. Wait, now we wait, are an wait, investigative wait, body. What? Since when are we a detective? Since I thought we were. We were. A magic ship assistant who reads cards and does tarot. I'm disappointed. I read the future, not investigate crimes. crimes. Those are very different things, no. madam. You're going to be Poirot. You're going to be Nancy Drew. You're going to be Miss Marple. You are now promoted to Jessica Fletcher. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. And everyone will die in the next five days or I know. the entire thing. Every over single and over day, again. someone else will die. So you can have a new episode. It's fine. You'll be great. Hope you didn't want to date one of the ones on the murder list. Bye. I ask only that you meet me for dinner this evening. Oh no, now you're the beast. Oh, great. <laughs> she smiles serenely and sweeps out of the room, Portia following in her wake. And I am worried they will lock the door behind me and I'll be stuck in the library. <laughs> I'll be stuck in the library. Oh, we get to see the desk. I am left alone with the doctor's desk. I, this looks like his things. Uh -huh. There's a stack of books, a leather-bound folio, and scrolls tucked away in a little row of drawers. I said there's a scroll right there, but All right, that's okay. So I'm going to be surprised if, in fact... Everybody, many bright minds and all of her capable servants and or, you know, guards or what have you, people that investigate such things, have all looked over this desk. If we can find something they haven't found, unless it's a revelation. <clears throat> Let us have it be a revelation, otherwise, dang. Please. Check the books, check the folio, check the scrolls. I, well, we can read, and she mentioned books. I want to do the folio, because nobody ever says folios. The folio papers are a little gold with age and thin, almost transparent. A meticulous drawing catches my eye. Its neat lines contrast sharply with the doctor's messy writing. Uh, that looks like beautiful handwriting, actually, but that's just me. Maybe the artist has better handwriting than the doctor. No kidding, Could be, maybe. could be. Somehow, the patterns and shapes look very familiar, like I've seen them before. I trace one with my fingertip, and the hair on my arm stands on end. It's like Ooh. putting my hand on the painting. Pep! Suddenly I'm out of my own control. Hang on, are we just going to be dragged through this whole story passively? There, an echo of... Desperation. A single-minded purpose. We are having a vision. Good job. Yeah, good job. It's a faint trace at best, but I can sense what the doctor was feeling when he made these drawings. Oh, good. He has feelings. Nice. I love that. I roll the drawing into a tight scroll and stow it in my bag. I take it from the folio and make it into... Did I take my bag with me when I got dressed? I don't I recall that. that part. I don't remember grabbing my bag either, but apparently I knew I needed to be prepared because I was afraid they wouldn't feed me. I don't fight. I also wanted the dogs to be going after the pumpkin bread in my pockets. That would have been cool. This fragile piece of paper, it's something the doctor cared about, something with a connection to him. A surge of excitement and apprehension rushed through me. I can use this. With the scroll and my magic to assist me, I might be able to find him. And talk oh, to hang him. on, did we get the scroll or the folio? We've made a scroll. If you choose the scroll, do you also get a scroll? <laughs> and if you choose a book, do you tear a piece of paper out and turn it into a scroll? And it's also a scroll. <laughs> we need so many scrolls in the I just, I don't know, but I'm, I'm wondering if they all lead to the same thing. I glance out the window at the sky. It's a bit past noon. If I'm quick... I should be back in time for dinner with the Countess. What? I, now you're going faster? You just got up at dawn and had breakfast, dressed, and went to her. And it's past noon. How far away did the castle? How long do you take to get dressed, dear? You sound ridiculous. Whoa. I got you up at basically dawn. Yeah, at and I'm like, dawn. Like, dawn. And now it's noon. What time does the sun come up? 10 a.m. Oh, okay. No problem. It goes, to, it. It goes to the high point in the sky at Noon, which is not noon, which, which happens a, in about five minutes. Which happens really quickly. Oh, this, the transition. We dress super slowly. We took four hours to eat breakfast and get dressed. That's why she woke us at dawn, because she knew we'd be slow. Right. Right. We ate so I, many pastries, but they just littered all over our bed whimsy, because of paper. Whimsy. <laughs> and all the harmonicas. And we got rot. We just fell down into the hole of whimsy and <laughs> we just spiraled off into a thick. Portia. And I stood four. here for five hours. And Outside God, your door. And I'm doo, very doo, patient. To do, to do. But I hate rich people. The sun starts dipping in the sky as I make my way back into the city. God, the clothes she gave ah. me must have been awful. Uh, wait, I may, we can now do the walk back into the city in time for sunset, even though we didn't depart what? till noon. I don't understand. We're not going to the same part of the city. Clearly, we can't be going back to the shop that quickly because that would be ridiculous. My breath goes short as tremors of anxiety radiate from my gut, spreading to my fingertips. I haven't done magic like this on my own. 
I've always had Asra with me before. Asra. Memories of his familiar, familiar voice soothe my mind. He believes in me and always tells me I can do it. Start with your breath. Follow your heart and be present. Don't think about him. Be in the moment. Dang it. Finding the calm I need, I gather up my magic, holding the scroll in both hands. I have to admit that I can see this as being cute and romantic, but again, it's not who I, don't, I am. I get, so, I like, like, I can see where they're going with I it. get the tropes. I get the stereotypes and I get the associations. But again, it's not who I but am. But for me also, though, like, especially as, uh, as for the time that I have spent either reading or engaging in character work, it really does start to become important unless you intimately know the other person already. Like, this is where I'm going, but I don't know this character. Or unless you don't want a real... I feel so disassociated from our character's experience with everyone else's. I'm like, I don't... We can't tell what they do and I... don't know, and we don't know it. We also don't know anything about the structure of their town, their city, their government, anything. Where nope. they came from, how they got where they are. And also, apparently, you're going to have, you know, your... Your your duchess, who might as well be your queen, basically as, goes, as you're so going far. to conduct a royal investigation, basically, and hire when a everyone unknown. else that you shouldn't honestly be trusting, as far as you know. I don't care. Like, well, you've got a reputation. What also, does that reputation mean? For many people, that kind of witchcraft can be terrifying, can be uncomfortable. Actually, the idea that somebody might know or basically be able to direct to you the perfect like aspects for your life is terrifying for some people. And some people get violent. On the other or hand, they get... everyone here does tarot. But also, why did she ask me to bring the arcana? We haven't used it. No kidding! Bringing the arcana, but why? All right, a tingling sensation grows at the base of my neck. I follow the feeling away from the palace, through in the city palace, streets. In wait, wait. We were almost to the city, but we're following the feeling away from the palace. Just meaning directed away from the palace, like the palace way at my back. I end up in a narrow, slippery street at the south end of Vesuvia. Its shabby stones are layered like scales. Is it an alley? We love alleys. I love alleys. Clustered apartments line the passage, and murky reddish water swirls in the sluggish canal. There's also a big freaking waterfall, it looks like, because wow. I'm also like, can't you even just be really good friends with Asra? I don't know. Like, the thing is, is why wouldn't you want to reach out really hard to someone going, if he's going the wrong way, you're trying to help him. That seems like a very normal thing of going, I want to help my friend who is also my master, basically. And also senpai. going, is this dream just a dream or is this something else? Do we have a dream connection that we can normally do? And I go, well, the shop's doing fine. Have you died in the mud beast slayer yet? Oh, boy. You know what? I see that you're going to die tomorrow. Take take a left instead of a right. Right? Here. Why wouldn't you want to be somebody's friend and be able to do that for you? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, we don't know if they're friends, which is kind of frustrating. Suddenly, a door in front of me swings open, casting warm light down three jagged stone steps. Oh, I'll be back. Just stepping up for some air. Ah, he also has fluff on his chest. He kind of does. I freeze mid-step, my heart leaping into my throat. My spell worked. I really have no confidence, even though I get good results all the time. Why do I hate myself so bad? What is my childhood have like? Have we ever failed anything no, in this entire time? not yet. So our no, character no. being... We clearly spilled the powdered back milk. Right. We clearly had spilled the powdered That's back milk. That's the mistake that we made. The only mistake we've made. All right. But I hadn't thought about what I'd do when I found him. Kiss him. I, I have no idea. You! Come here! Mm -hmm. You must be hanged for your crimes! Come with me! Alright, if you insist so... I, I, I am so confused. I might I, just follow you. What did right. you say about the hanging? Is that in your window? Hang on. I, is, this, is this kinky? I'm not sure. <laughs> I try to back away quietly, but something catches my heel. Ah! Toppling me into an empty barrel! It's and now I'm Bella Swan. I was going to say hi! And now we're Bella Swan. It's okay. And now, and now we have entered the clumsy. Why does shop. everybody Actually, always go it. clumsy equals cute? And I'm like, clumsy does not always equal cute. Cute or charming or appealing. Some people like you to be physically skilled, actually, and they find clumsy to be a great put off. And they don't always want to fix it. They just go, you're useless. Or some people go, wow, you're a child. Yes. However, comma, if we have a high personal value on being physically capable, and what we're always doing is mental and emotional capability, then we ourselves will always feel like a disaster because the thing we personally find important, we're not successful at, even though we're really good at what other people find important. It's true. And that is an important thing to know about yourself, my dear. Mm -hmm. I try to back away quietly, but something catches my heel. There we go. Pep into the barrel. Oh, the whole world shakes. The next thing I know, I'm staring at the sky, limbs flailing useless, uselessly as quick bootsteps approach. Hello, that was quite a tumble. Are you all right? He certainly is freaking casual for a wanted man. Like, no wow. Kidding. The doctor leans over the barrel, extending a hand. He rears back when he sees my face. Holy crap, it's you! The, the shopkeep, what are you doing here? Uh, well, you see. Come on, upsy-daisy. 
A firm grip encircles each of my wrists, and I'm hauled out of the barrel like a snail shucked from its shell. Like a <laughs> That's a great being feeling. Slurped out. It was. It was a perfect <clears throat> fit. I staggered forward into the doctor's broad, gleaming chest. Why is he gleaming? Is he sweaty? That's what I was gonna say. Is he sweaty? Is he gross? For a moment, his eyes meet mine in surprise at eye. our sudden proximity. His eye, thank you, his eye. Because I was like, hang on, his eye meets mine. At our sudden proximity. I, you just buried your face into my tits. Hi, how are you? I, lass, that's a little I, gross. They, they, dear, dear them. Oh, I, dear them, I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so used to that, that stereotype, I apologize. I, I dear lad. I, dear, dear person. Dear, dear lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely is a good gender neutral. Everyone's really lovely. Is, everyone is a lovely. Then, with a friendly pat on my arms, he releases me. Actually, gently pushes me away. Really, Could you, whoo, with a little bit of personal whoo, space whoo, there, dear. Whoo, 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 whoo. I take a good look at my surroundings for the first time. I wasn't really looking at where I was going at all. All I was doing was following this feeling. We're behind a tavern, well hidden from the street. He just lives in the town, and no one cares, even though there are wanted posters for him uh -huh. everywhere. I can't tell. Is this the to be a waterfall? On the I really feel like it is. That's what I said. But there's, there's like fog, but it like it doesn't look like it continues. It just like sort of abruptly stops. I it falls into the ground <laughs> and into the lower sewers. Actually, I believe this is the path along the water. Oh, here. okay. See, so that's the water in the middle of the street. That would make sense. It's like Venice here. All okay? right, Venice. That's fine. That's but fine. But no boats because too many waterfalls. Yeah, right. Painted on the back door is a crackling blackbird. Cackling. Cackling. Thank it's you. Laughing. Lying back on his crescent moon. As laying on his back like. <laughs> That's adorable. That's really cute. The rowdy raven it reads. Yay. That sounds so cute. Dare I ask what brings you to this neck of the woods? <laughs> uh, I open my mouth, but no words come out. How do I begin to explain? I... The doctor gives me a knowing look and casts a glance at the open door. You just left, but you were only going out for a breath of air. Did you go out for a breath of air and an awkward garbage fire? <laughs> Who knows? Its warm light glows between us. He turns to me with a glint in his eye. Rumor has it you're working for the palace. Aye, <laughs> rumor is fast, apparently. Well, I'm I'm sure by now you've heard some interesting stories about me. Because the posters don't say wanted for murder, they just say wanted? Oh, right? That is ridiculous. Why not? That much is true, if a gross understatement. And again, I don't actually know you've done anything or that you've confessed. I only have one person's story. And if I don't know them because I've only just met them, even if I recognize them as the Countess, I don't know what my standards are. But you haven't heard my side of the tale, have you? Since you've never spoken to me except for once two days ago? No! no of course not! That's, That's true too! <laughs> totally it's true. true. Uh, accurate. Uh, correct. <laughs> All my knowledge is from the Countess's account. Thank you for yes. realizing that! I love you, writer. Good job. The wanted posters and the muddled rumors. Besides, I do still owe you for the reading. Are you thirsty? My treat! All I'm going to eat in this entire game is whimsical pastries, pumpkin bread, and booze. <laughs> We're gonna <gasps> die. I am Wait, thirsty. I am thirsty. Let's God damn it, I'm thirsty. I haven't drank anything. I came from the library to here and I walked for hours. Hours! I walked from <laughs> noon till sunset and I didn't drink or eat. So anything. I am thirsty and I would be lying if I was not. No kidding. You forgot to say, I am thirsty. I am thirsty. I'm not a hey, nerd. I'm thirsty. Hi, thirsty. I'm Julian. <laughs> hello, hello, thirsty. I'm Julian. <laughs> ah, damn it. Damn, I walked into the dad joke. I walked right into it. And also your chest. <laughs> I, I, I did walk into it. I I'm sorry. I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> in so many ways. It's hey. okay. I'm disgusting, but my clothes are possibly clean. I hope. His face splits in a brilliant grin. Oh, fantastic. Please allow me. I still think they might be brother and sister. I I he don't beckons, think you're wrong. Uh, that'd he beckons be my guess. me up the steps to the door, easing it open and leading me through to the warm inside. But why he doesn't have freckles is beyond me then. Oh, because he's prettier. Oh, <laughs> is that so mean? I no, love people freckles. really go. People are like, freckles aren't pretty, and I'm like, freckles are fuck cute. No, freckles cute. can be freaking beautiful, like stars. God, on the they face. look amazing. Some freckles are wow. God. Anyway, that's why I told you I had a crush on the baker. I went, ooh, freckles. Uh huh. Oh. It was very cute. Okay. It's not even sundown. It looked like sundown. Uh huh. But the tavern is full is in full swing. The noise is cacophonous. I love that word. Uh huh. It's a cacophony. The barkeep, wide, scar faced, and barrel armed, gives the doctor a cheeky salute when he passes by. So we everybody... know you're wanted, but it's fine. You're a good patron. That sounds like honestly, though, that he actually is a good guy. So something's yes. going on here. There is some. It is a mystery. It, it is, is a mystery. mystery. Ha ha! A cackling drunkard swings out a wooden <laughs> leg. <laughs> swings it out. Poop. Which Dr. Dvorak politely pushes aside. Hey, wanna sit on me wood? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Tucking my escort. Tutting. Tutting. My escort guides me to a cozy booth in the back. Ah, you ridiculous heathens. All Do right. not hit on them. They're adorable. They are very cute. All right. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the drinks. Gotta love your gloves. They're ridiculous. Oh, they're ridiculous. He's so, he's such long. At least you don't He have... really is like David Bowie. Awkward he's like long. limb He's boy. a leggy. Leggy. No, he's leggy. A, the the Bowie was short. Boink. Nonetheless, was No, small. I know. But like his anatomy. Like, yes, he's very, very lanky. slim. Lanky. Lanky build, but not tall. I don't I know. know. I just love the gloves. I'm also like, he's getting rid of his starched cape. Hup. <laughs> so he can get through doors. Yeah, he breezes past me towards the bar. I try to sit still as I look around, but I'm really nervous and twitchy and very thirsty and hungry. Apparently. And grimy. Nearby, a pair of old crones are hunched over a card game, attended by a squabbling crowd. <laughs> Up at the bar, the doctor chats with the barkeep. They both erupt into peals of laughter at some joke. I wish I was laughing more. I'm very serious. <laughs> he looks perfectly at ease, so different from when I met him at the shop, and he was really intense and anxious, and really had just come in on the heels of the person who wanted to arrest and hang him, so that's reasonable. Probably. He turns, making his way back with our drinks. He sets mine before me. What did he get me to drink? He slides into the booth across from me, gulping down his drink with gusto. Yep, totally, totally Irish. Also, or, I'm or just Scottish, like, if you uncross your arms, would we see your belly button? Because that shirt, I don't know. Well, I'm also like, why are you so dressed crappily? I, ah, I just walk around like this, it's fine. It's casual. I, oh, I have to keep my arms like this because I actually lost all my buttons. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, you see, I got a little rowdy and I knocked all, I tore all the buttons on my shirt. So it just, was very important. I just sort of keep my arms crossed in hope that, you know, it's okay. It works. I peer into the golden liquid in my cup. It smells faintly like fruit. Woo! I switch cups. He just drank out of his. It's fine. It's fine. I'll drink it. I take a sip. It's refreshing, barely sweet, and fizzes on the way down. I bzzz, sizzles on the way. I mean, fizzes on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they make you think about the drink. The problem with having choices like this is that they make you suddenly think about something. I wonder again. I wonder if they just have arbitrary choices in there as well as thoughtful choices. That would be super just for interesting. Fun. That would be cool. Uh huh. Going, it really doesn't matter what you choose, and it doesn't change the story at all, but it is something that indicates you're thinking about this. Yeah. That it's something your character would consider that he might have put something in your drink. Right. You know, I never did get your name. That's okay. I'm Hey Nerd, nice to meet you. But um, more importantly, you- Is it you... like Hey, hey Nerd or Maynard? Is it <laughs> Hey Nerd? It could be, it could be. I'll say, but more importantly, since I know if you murder, you murder by fire, I'm not worried about my drink immolating me. It's pretty much true. Fingers interlocked on the table between us. He gives me a look of encouragement. Everyone's doing the elbow fingers and the chin hands, everyone. It's uh -huh. so cute. It's very weird. Hey, nerd. Ah, oh, hey, nerd. What a lovely name. A musical name. Hey, nerd. I love it. That's beautiful. <laughs> People are busting in. Hey, nerd. Hey, nerd. <laughs> he offers me his hand, and though I hesitate to place mine in his leathery grip, I manage. I hesitate, but I manage. It's fine. I, his smile broadens to a toothy grin. <laughs> okay, we have met. We shake hands. Good job. I clear my throat, looking him dead in the eye. In his one beautiful eye. <laughs> hmm. You said you'd tell me your side of the story. Oh, I did, didn't I? How oh, careless of me. It was just that the buttons on my shirt, they I distracted me. Hang on, I'm trying to... I, let me just I tuck it. Myself. Cross tuck it. Let me just cross it. You know, they're, you they're good, sir. Just cross tuck it. It'll look great. Or you could just, like, tie it. Yeah, you could maybe tie it. Just go for that 80s, you know, look. I love his collar. It's ridiculous. He laughs at my incredulous expression. Incredulous. 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 <laughs> Incredulary. Incredulary. <laughs> When he leans back in the booth, long limbs going every which way we are. He's Plap. very, he's very he's limmy. He's spider. Plap. He just right. crawls. Ask anything you like. You said you're going to tell us. That's not the same as me prodding. I don't know what questions to ask. <gasps> okay, my question is going to be, what's your side of the story? Huh? Right? Wordlessly, I reach into my bag and hand him the scroll from the library. Hang on for two seconds. Okay. I hand him the scroll from the library. Once he starts reading, his sm the smile slides from his face. He leans over the page, frowning in concentration. Oh, well, we'll survive. Oh, look at him. Ah! He is, he's not sprawled every which way, but it's kind of cute. It is kind of cute. We are at sunset, though. Like, we were at twilight, and now we're at sunset. I don't understand. I'm confused. I am Confucian. The sun came back up so that his hair could look marvelous. I Ooh. accept. That's accept. Tight. His hair must look marvelous. The map-like winding patterns draw me in once again. I find myself leaning over the scroll for a closer look. I only look away when I feel Julian's Julian. eye on me. Sorry. 
Julian. I'm Julian. Julian. I'm Julian there. Where did you find this? It was on your desk in the palace library. He looks away, but not before I see a flinch of pain cross his face. Oh, well, this is a slice of a uh, of human brain. Oh dear. The patterns are unique, actually, to each individual. Individual? I meet his gaze, and he stiffens with trepidation. You mean to say you've seen individual brains sliced like this? Julian steeples his fingers and rests his chin on his thumbs. It is chin hands everywhere. His expression like, is ghastly. Oh dear. There are other drawings, aren't there, at the palace? I nod, and he drums his fingers on his clenched jaw in clear distress. Chin and la 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 la. Okay, I can see yeah. that. I. He's got quite the jawline. It could work. Well, you'd better put this one back. Trust me, they'll notice it's gone. But she said I could have leave of the desk. As if he can't stand that does to look not at, make any sense, actually. at it a moment longer, he rolls it up and hands it to me. He doesn't know what permissions I've been given, though. As far as he knows, I walked by and took it. Yeah, pretty much. I take the scroll and sew it in my bag. He's now told me nothing! Where's his side of the story? I'm sorry, damn it! It feels heavier now, as if the page itself took on the weight of his ominous words. What? I did- Excuse me. Whisking the steins away, Julian heads back to the bar. Shrill bickering erupts from the card-playing prones table. <laughs> Julian whispers to one of the crones as he passes by, and taps a single card in her hand. The card is played, throwing the crowd into chaos. Julian <laughs> ducks away because I cannot Just figure out his name. Just as someone and douse. douses him with their drink. You <laughs> bitch! You cheated! You showed them what to play! He is still wiping it off, chuckling when he returns to his seat. You would think I'd know better than to get involved. <laughs> it's okay, wet t-shirt contest ensues! Woo, in the white shirt! I raise an oh, eyebrow. No. He's not wearing a mask here, and, and everyone seems to know him. He's not a bad guy. You're not worried about being seen? Here? No, no, I'm not too worried. <laughs> Folks around here aren't known to uh, oblige the wants and wishes of the palace. Ah, uh, we are against the Duchess, who is apparently But everybody queen. loved the recent Dutch king man, whatever the fuck, I don't even know yet. Even the raven spends his time scouting for guards, obsessively. Obsessively. And we were the, the raven and we plapped around. Who the crap is the raven? I don't know, but he might own the inn since it's the playful raven or whatever. Julian uh, scans the smoky rafters with a pro while I process what he has told me. It's a little surprising. I didn't even know we had government, let alone that people were against it. Yeah. But everyone was eating out of the, the duke's hands. Yeah, the duke's hands. So maybe they just the don't king's... like the duchess. Where Asra and I live, the guards are treated with reverence and fear in no small measure. There we go. Bye. Suddenly the raven bursts in through a dusty window overhead, flying in loops with a guttural shriek. Look at the bo good baby. Good mm, baby. No, 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 no. The bird beats himself against a string of bells and the tavern erupts into chaos. Oh, oh look, guards. You can actually see the string of bells. I love that. <clears throat> shake, shake. Guards! Palace guards! Patrons claw their way out of every door and window. Oh, oh, I love it! Oh, you just got this, like, you've got this... God, what is it, like, essentially, you know, sort of Ghibli levels of proportion of everyone uh, scrambling through every orifice of the building. Blah, 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 things flying in the air. It's like Porco Rosso. I uh -huh. love it. Cool. All right, tossed, fluttering in the air. Julian scoops me bodily from my seat and rushes me out the back door into the alley. I have been... Excuse me! La, 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 la. He grabs me. I what? am held. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's getting cold and the sun's almost set completely. Oh, we're gonna be late again. The doctor casts a frantic glance up and down the alley before crowding me into the shadows. You'll be able to find your way, yes? The guards aren't after you. I nod. He clasps my upper arms and looks deep into my eyes. Up. All right. Thanks. For not... Well, thanks, Einert. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell me your story! I don't have a story! That's not a story! Oh my god! Uh, you having me ask you questions when I don't know what to ask or what has actually going on is not storytelling! And I didn't even get to ask a question, I just showed you a paper and then you shut me down. Ah! Ah! He turns and vanishes, leaving me all this alone in a artificial. silent, shuttered alley. It is an alley. It's a lot of alleys. There's Another so alley. alleys. Are we gonna see the boy in chains again because it's an alley? Yeah, we should go attack the, now, the boy in chains. Now, what do I do? I thought Julian might give me answers, but all I have are more swirling questions, and he seems to be feared for my safety. Why does he fear for my safety? He doesn't even know me. Hey! hey you there! Hey, nerd! Woo! I whirl around as two armed guards appear at the alley entrance. They march towards me. When they're close enough to see my face, they stop. Oh! 
The Countess is magician. Ah, the guard gives me a short, sharp bow. Since when was uh, I hired? I'm Ludovico. We met yesterday at the gates. Uh, ah, are there only two guards at all? Right? Period? I nod, trying to summon up some confidence. Yes, I'm supposed to dine with the Countess again tonight, but it's getting late, and the castle is hours away. Ludovico briskly waves off my unasked question. Well, um, we'll hail your carriage back. Don't want to keep the Countess waiting. All right, there are carriages, but I never use them because I am poor. Uh, pretty much. He leads me back to a broader street, hails a gilded carriage, because taxis are good, and closes the door behind me. I hope he pays them. Back to the Disney castle! The palace looms over the carriage as it approaches, a white monolith against the twinkling night sky. I am again late Very for late. dinner. But no one is guarding the door because the guards are in the street, so That's we're okay. That's pretty much it. That's all there is. Portia's waiting for me at the gates, ready to help me out of the carriage. How does she know? Okay. She might have just been waiting there for hours, hoping I'd be back because she knew I wasn't in the castle. All right. She's unusually quiet. Not at all her usual cheerful self that we've known for several hours. Right. I keep silent as well, occupied by tangled thoughts of my own, wondering if I was given leave to take paper or not, to examine the desk or not. Does examine mean actually I can take and move things or just stare at? Right. The grand door swings open as we arrive to reveal an extravagant meal, piled high upon the long table, which is probably going to be really hard on me since I seem to be a disaster at feeding myself. I probably eat very small meals, or I just stuff myself completely and die and sleep. This music always plays in the ballroom. Everything is richly seasoned with rare spices, because I can recognize rare versus common spices. No kidding! I can recognize the scent of saffron wafting towards me, but not myrrh, or incense, or frankincense. Or gold. You're right on time. Hey, Nat. I hope your day was fruitful. <laughs> I... I mean, there was wasn't so any fruit in it. A servant seats me and fills my glass with a pale rose beverage. I'm already slightly drunk since I didn't eat all day. Oh my god, we have so much booze! The delicious floral aroma... Delicate. Sorry. The delicate floral aroma reminds me of the Countess's perfume. We're eating it's a lavender drink. Blah, Jasmine. Blah, blah, blah. Jasmine, sorry. Jasmine. I always just purple flowers, you know? Yeah, I know. All right. First, let us attend to some small matters. You are sweaty and gross. You should bathe before dinner. Do it tomorrow. Please bathe. <laughs> my couriers. In the next five years, at least. My courtiers. My couriers. Courtiers? Courtiers. Courtiers? Courtiers? I... I don't recall. I my don't know that word. I'm most eager to meet you. Let's call them courtiers. courtiers. I, I think it's courtiers. I didn't know it was spelled that way. Yes, it is. I shall introduce you to them tomorrow afternoon. Well, they have to wait a long ass time. Because <laughs> we're going to be late again. They will want to know everything about you. But choose wisely what you wish to tell them. Since I don't know anything, it's going to be hard to tell them much. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I will be informing them of the masquerade as well. I imagine they will be ecstatic. So you're saying we're going to have him killed by tomorrow? The masquerade is in plan, but we can't schedule the day, even until he's dead. But we're also still going to schedule the day and just assume we'll succeed before then. So are we basically also... trying to motivate people to get him so they can have a masquerade? Like, are we going to use people's delight and... I mean, people have done that before, going, we could do this thing, but only if we get this done. It's actually a very common tactic in work environments. Of it going, is. We need to get this thing, like, we want to all get this thing, right? We all want a pizza party, but so unless we get 13,000... Yep. yep. Like, oh, God. All right, they will be ecstatic. Oh, but I nod slowly as I chew my food. I got food! Yay! Woo! The finally! The ways of the court are foreign to me. Except I seem to know everything about them sometimes, and then other Deeply times I am a complete dork. foreign. But I can trust, at the very least, that the Countess won't allow me to be an embarrassment. That's true. I hope. Except for I embarrass myself all the time. That's true. So I won't be embarrassing her. And tomorrow at noon, Portia will lead a retinue into the town square to announce the masquerade. But we won't announce the day, because we don't know when we're going to kill the boy. Yeah, pretty much. Once so the townspeople hear... Word will spread on its own, and that, and then it shall be out of our hands. It will have to happen, except for without a scheduled date, so we'll just figure it out. Oh, no, who knew? I imagine the crowds will be eager to see Count Lucio's murderer hang. So we are just assuming we'll catch him by whenever it is. I, yes. So right. we've announced it. I don't, I don't. I think Fulian, bathed in the warm, welcoming light of the tavern, swinging from the gallows. My heart grows cold at the image, but I'm careful not to let it show on my face. But these are tomorrow's matters. Tonight, hey nerd, I have questions. Questions? Hey nerd, I brace myself questions. for the inevitable queries about where I went, what I've been doing. Yes, I wish to become familiar with you. I'm a widow. I need to know more people. 
I, I, I also, I don't get out much, and I know you don't get out much, but the two of us have different little holes we live in, so let's oh, talk about them. Let's do it. Let's have a plan. Her words catch me off guard. I didn't expect you to have any interest in who I was. Let us be strangers no longer. May tonight be the beginning of a valuable friendship. Well, at least she's in it for friendship. Good job. No kidding. She starts with simple questions. How I enjoy the town, my daily goings on, my favorite thing to eat, pumpkin bread. I really have a crush on the baker. I ask her questions in turn, and learn that her favorite food is spiced swordfish. In Prakra? In... Wow. Yeah, it is Prakra. Wow. That's great. In Prakra, spiced swordfish is a summer dish. I would hardly suffer a warm night without it. Is it cold spiced swordfish? No kidding. Prakra is a, a vast land of the north, the Countess's home, though I had not... Though I had thought it was only a rumor. So you don't rule this land, but people are afraid of you and your guards, or you rule this land, but it's only like a vassal of your kingdom, and I... your homeland is over there. Did you marry into this land when you married the count or the the duke? I. I... It sounds like no, I no, am confused. Is a ca- he is a count. He is a king. count. Sorry, countess. I thought they called her a duchess. Countess. Is it a duchy? Only... I think a. I think a duchy. Have they called her countess the whole time? I thought they called her the duchess at the beginning. I don't recall. Shit. I well, you know what, guys? It's fine. I don't know. Anyway, Countess, Count, I am confused. I am confused. I can't remember properly my own game. Well, I know it says it's 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 the uh, the duchy, right? That they're in. They're in the. They duchy. didn't say that. They, they did said say. the castle. The other game said the duchy. I don't know. This that. is just a castle. It's fine. Okay. Prakra, a vast land to the north. Uh, the Countess is home, though I had thought it was only a rumor. So we know very little about this person that apparently rules us and runs our police force? No kidding. The kitchen does try to humor my requests, but alas, they can never seem to spice it quite right. They can't follow directions, and I don't have a recipe. Pretty much. Do you ever miss living there? The countess looks thoughtfully down into her glass, elegant fingers curled delicately around the stem. At least you're not drinking every other sentence this time. You seem a little more calm. Perhaps. I don't think I would ever return to Prakra. But there are things I miss about my home. You did marry over to here, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Often, when I was feeling morose, I would take a walk down to the white beaches of my homeland. Observing the opalescent waves crash over the sands would soothe my worried soul. The bittersweet expression on her face as she speaks of her homeland makes her look years younger. Because she looks incredibly old. What? I notice that the servants are listening as they work, watching the Countess and I with wondering eyes, she never divulges so much to anyone. They were stunned yesterday as well. I think she just doesn't ever talk to anyone. And now she's like, well, I will have you as a guest since I haven't had a guest in so long and I will talk to you. Yeah, why not? Well, if we are to reminisce, perhaps we should do so somewhere more private. Would you care to join me on the veranda for a nightcap? It's going to cost money. She Probably. looks down at me, a soft smile tugging at her lips. Just the two of us. Oh, no. Then she holds her hands out toward me, waiting expectantly. Okay, that's way more personal than joining me. I join a friend. No, thank you. You're going to touch me just to walk with you. Like, this isn't come join me. This is I will hold your hands on the way there. Last time I paid my way in, I was very uncomfortable, so I'm going to say no thank you. No kidding. I, no thank you. I actually want to keep eating because I'm very bad at eating. Any and food. I don't eat much. Ah, you are tired. Or well, perhaps shy? Perhaps you're very direct and we don't know each other. And I assume from the writing of the rest of the game that you're immediately going to start trying to romance me. And I don't know you. No kidding. It's quite all right. Hey, no. I understand completely. Also, you're still mourning your husband's death. If his murder is un, un like unsolved. closed, like it is, it's an has not properly murder. in many cultures. If his his death hasn't been resolved fully, let alone his burial not handled, because I assumed I was in his remains, which we don't know if I was correct. You should still be in mourning, but that could be wrong. Yeah, I don't, we don't know how old everybody. I is. also don't know your culture at all. I have ah, I do hope you will have a pleasant evening. So. We can only talk more privately or go the fuck to bed. That's All right. ridiculous. Portia, please show our guests back to their room. But I wanted to stay and eat, and now I have to leave because you're done with me. Ha, ah, sigh. Nadia exits the dining room, the scent of jasmine lingering in the air for a moment before fading as well. But she is always scented. Portia appears at my elbow, smiling warmly. I nod gratefully and get to my feet, grabbing my plate. Following Portia out. Feed! Can I just have some food? Please, you're going to die! I'm hungry! What are you? You're such a delicate waif. I never eat, you see? Because I'm really, really bad at it. I... The walk back to the guest room is less eventful tonight. Mercedes and Melchior are nowhere to be seen. 
Boy, there goes. More joints. Our footsteps echo in the empty halls. Portia walks cheerfully beside me. There are a lot more interesting things around here since you showed up. And all the rumours floating around. My goodness, you think we had nothing to do but chat? I... Am I that important now? Also, since when did she hire me to become her personal magician, if that's the rumor? Wow! No kidding! Do you hear a lot of rumors? It's my job to know who and what's happening around here. <laughs> Is that your job? And so <clears throat> get your Yeah, you're probably read. related. You guys are extremely, like, friendly and affable. Yeah, and you both have, you have similar behavior. And you have similar hairstyles. You do. You're, the art of your hair is telling. Uh -huh. And your palette is very similar. You're related. It's fine. It seems servants came during the day to tidy up. They placed a fresh pitcher of water on the desk. Did they also make the bed? And did they return my clothes that they stole? And did they and actually have clean the bed? And if the, is, the fresh, is the fresh pitcher of water for me to bathe in? Because damn, I need a bath. We're so gross. Incense burns by the window, filling the room with hazy swirls of wood and spice. When I drop my bag at the foot of the bed, the scroll from Julian's desk rolls out. Also, I love that I took my bag to dinner. That's so charming. It's so ridiculous. Portia spots it. She looks as if she's dying to ask a question, but it falters before it can escape her lips. You seem... Concerned? Concerned? Me? Maybe it's just the doctor. He can't be the only suspect, right? Yeah, you're related. Aw, that's adorable. You're totally related. Just between you and me, I think Count Lucio had a lot of enemies, too. I wasn't working here when it happened. I've only heard, rum heard rumours of what went on that night. Just keep your eyes peeled for anything strange, alright? Please yeah. try to save my brother. I just... could you? Then she smiles, the worry clearing from her face. She leans in close to me, voice low. You know, if you're not too tired yet, I could show you around the palace. I would love to see around the palace. Are you flirting with me or are you trying to show me around the palace? There's a lot of interesting things on the grounds. Maybe I could show you some secrets. That would be useful. If you think... If you think you can handle them. She teasing me. She gives me another wink and tilts her head, waiting for an answer. Are you, are you actually being helpful? Oh my god! Show me secrets, I... We can't, it's a romance option. It was... must be, I guess. Why are they all so inconsistently priced is what I want to know. I don't know, are some arcs better than others? Or are some supposed to be divulging more information? You get more access to the, the, the secret, to the, the story itself. I don't know. Like you're buying more of the book. Right? I, I... would ask, is that allowed? I'm not tired, I'm hungry and dirty. Is that allowed? Why wouldn't it be allowed? You're not a prisoner here, you know. I feel a bit like one. You look <laughs> like you can keep a secret. I'm uh, not too worried. Do you discount it the second <laughs> round? No! <laughs> but I'm not too tired! What happens if you pap it? Ah, yep, loads the store. Us. Ah, where is it? The merch store. Best value. Pay a hundred dollars to play the game. Wow. Hi. Except that as far as I understand, there's actually no way to play through all the game and get all the options, even with spending a hundred bucks on this. Really? It's something over like five hundred dollars. I mean, do they ever give you free coins? I mean, oh, they yeah, you earn them every day. Coins, so yeah. you can get through it in a couple of years. <laughs> Right? I'm too tired. Not because I'm actually too tired, but because I'm afraid of romance and I can't eat or bathe. Right. I get it. You had a long day. And a lot on your mind. Get some rest. Tomorrow my lady wants you to join us up in town to announce the masquerade. And also to meet all her courtiers. I'll be back at dawn. Don't sleep in! Yeah. With that she's gone, leaving me alone with my thoughts. Would she have hit on us? I kind of want to know if she would have. I think she's a romance option. Well, yeah, but I mean... Judging can, by how these things work. Do any of the romance option. options actually get to know you first, or they just immediately hit on you? Ah, uh, maybe that's where we find out that her and Julian are related, though, and then, so we get more information, and that's why it's so expensive, because it tells about two people? Maybe. Maybe. That I don't might know. be interesting. All right, we might need to get more coins before we play more of this. Oh, oh. my gosh, the intro keeps going. All right, well, that was the end of um, um, part four. Part four, and it was an hour. Holy cow. So, well, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Liz. And I am Scandal. We and hope to see you next time on part five, the Hierophant. Yes. Bye.